Other headlines now, a big change in COVID rules in New York. It is now mask optional on mass transit. Governor Hochul making that announcement this morning. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live in Midtown with more on that and where masks are still required. Alice. That's right. Subways, buses, trains, all now mask optional, but masks are still required in hospitals, nursing homes, and other health care settings. The governor says the mask guidance changed due to a stabilization in COVID-19 numbers and better boosters. If you ask subway riders about masking in the cars lately, it's about 50 percent. If that, some say. And if you're wondering where the enforcement was, it became more and more difficult to justify and to enforce uh, a mask requirement as so much of the city and so many other places were opening up bars, restaurants. Now it's up to each strap hanger. I don't wear the mask on the subway. I'm a mask on person. Um, don't want to spread COVID. Care about the people around me. I personally don't like masks. I'll be still wearing mine. These are the new signs, encouraged but optional. So places like shelters, correctional facilities, detention centers, and yes, mass transit. The governor made the announcement while in East Harlem to receive her booster shot, something she says others need to do in order to keep moving the state back to normal. We have a booster that is tailored to the dominant variant that's circulating. If you're confused about whether to get a booster. If it's been more than two months since you got your last shot, you're 12 or over, uh, you should get boosted. And this time it can be with a booster that we think will provide people with a lot more protection. The White House COVID-19 response team says the U.S. is moving towards an annual COVID-19 shot for most Americans, similar to how the flu shot is handled with the yearly vaccine matching current strains in circulation. They say those updated boosters are available everywhere in New York. Check with your local health department, your doctor, or your pharmacy. As for masking here in the subways, they are still providing free masks if you go up to one of the subway booths. We're live in Midtown, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Alice, thanks.